I'm going to have a look at angles and circles now. We just want to make sure that we go over the basic terms. An arc is part of the circumference. A chord is a straight line from edge to edge that does not go through the middle. The line that goes from edge to edge through the middle is called a diameter. Radius is from the centre to the edge and a segment is that bit that's chopped off. A tangent skims along the outside of the circle just hitting it once. And a sector is like a pizza pie slice. Now, circle theorems. These need to be learnt off. The angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. So if that's x, that's 2x. Just watch the backwards ones, it can be quite hard to see. So the angle at the circumference is x, so the middle one is 2x. Angles on the circumference sub subtended by the same two points are equal. Basically what that means, if you start and finish at the same point and go to the edge, those angles are equal. The angle at the circumference in a triangle, which has a diameter as one of its sides, is always 90 degrees. But that line must be the diameter for that to be 90 degrees. The cyclic quadrilateral in this one, opposite angles add to give you 180. In a cyclic quadrilateral, each corner must hit the outside of the circle. The radius and the tangent meet at right angles. Now I want to draw your attention to this, this is all um, common sense here. If you have two tangents, the radius to tangent is 90 and the radius to the tangent is 90. Obvious, obviously the radii have to be equal, so that equals that, which means you've got a completely symmetrical shape. These two sides are going to be equal and you can split that down the middle and have two right angled triangles there, which means trig and Pythagoras could be used in there. Now the alternate segment theorem, the angle between the tangent and a chord equals the angle opposite. We basically put that into easier terms to understand. You have a triangle and a tangent. The outside angle equals the opposite inside angle. Now, a few examples here. In this circle, I'm seeing a start and a finish. We're going up to 18. We're going up to 18. So that there angle is also 18 degrees. You've got a triangle here. That's 18. Add your 92, which is 110. To get this angle here, take it away from 180, giving you 70 degrees. Now, if I start and finish here, start, go down to there, 70, start the same place, go down to a different one, that's going to be 70 degrees as well. So that's that circle complete. Number two. I'm noticing here, I'm starting and finishing at the same place. Now the angle at the centre is double the angle at the edge. So to get that angle there, 58 divided by 2, which gives you 29 degrees. Now to get this backward one, I need to know this angle in here. So it's 360 minus 58 to give you 302. And the angle at the edge is half that, so half that down is 151 degrees. This here shape. Now, if I look at this here, I know that this is 72. I have got a right angle there, the radius and the tangent are right angles. So to work out n, and I'll just draw out so you can see what I'm doing here. That's 72, that's 90, that's 90. Any quadrilateral shape adds to 360. So I'm going to have add my 90, add my 90, add my 72 to give me 252. And that angle is going to be 360 minus 252 to give me 108 degrees. So that's 108 degrees. The angle at the edge is going to be half that, so I actually read 108 degrees. The angle at the edge is half that, so it's 54 degrees. 
Now if you look in here at this wee triangle, I'll draw it out so we can see it a bit clearer. That's the radius and that's the radius. They're going to be equal. You know this angle is 108, so it's an isosceles triangle. So to get each of these angles, 180, take away 108, and then split it in two. So that's 36 degrees. Now that was, that was P, was 36 degrees. And then to work out Q, that's at a right angle. So take it away from 90, giving you 54 degrees. Now the next shape, when I see an outside angle, I'm thinking alternate segment theorem, so I'm looking for my triangle. That's 77. That top angle in there is also going to be 77. And the one at the centre is going to be double the one at the end. So 77 times 2, 154 degrees. Now, number 5. You're told the angle ACB is 116. So the angle here, I'll just fill them in before we read the question. Divide that by 2 is 58 degrees. You know that's 90 and that's 90. So again, it's what I did in a previous example there. You've got your quadrilateral shape. 90, 90 and 116. Add them up. Now that's not a cyclic quadrilateral because that point is not inside the circle, not in at the circumference, and that point's not at circumference. So it's a straightforward quadrilateral with all the angles add up to 360. So adding those three up, you get 296. So you get this angle at T, take away 296 from 360 to give you 64 degrees. Now that's the radius and that's the radius. So to get this angle in here, it's the isosceles triangle. So 180 take away 116 and divide it by 2. That's 32 degrees. So that wee one in there is going to be 32 degrees. And then remember that's 90. So to work out this angle here is 90 take away 32, which is 58 degrees. And that angle in there is also going to be 58 degrees. Now, Let's see what the question wants. It wants angle ADB. ADB is 58 degrees. Angle CAB. So it's that we want in there, which is 32 degrees. The next bit wants BAT. BAT. So it's this one here, 58 degrees. Then we want ATB. So A. T, B, and that angle is 64 degrees. And lastly, C, B, D. So C, B, D. I don't have that angle worked out. That's that one there. What I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to take that four-sided shape in there and draw it out. It's like my arrowhead shape. So B, C, A, D, and I'm looking for this angle in here. I know that's 116, so that outside one is going to be 360 minus 116 to give me 244. I know the angle at the end is 58. If these two sides are equal, because they're the radius, those two sides are going to be equal. So to get these two angles in here, I will add my 244 and my 58. It's a four sided shape, so it adds to 360. So 244 add 58 is 302. So it's 360 minus 302 is 58 degrees. And split that in two gives you an answer of 29 degrees. So angle CBD is 29 degrees. To make circle theorems easier, if you fill in the angles as soon as you see them, rather than reading on through the question tends to make it a little easier.